Hey guys, it's Ryan from Connecticut, 23-year-old um, silver leader. I'm going to be heading up the uh, small group coaching aspect of these trainings that we're doing. Um, so anywhere from three to five people that you're coaching. Uh, this week is on how we get people on products, specifically towards the three to five group people. Um, one of the things that I do that I really like to do is I like to, when I reach out or I share it with people, I tell them that I'm getting a group together. I always tell them I'm getting a large group together. One of the things that I'm going to start doing now to really make it specific towards three to five people is let's say you have 20 people, split them up into smaller groups. Don't put them all in one thread. Don't put them all in one group text message or one Facebook page because everyone's journey is different. So anywhere from three to five people that have maybe never even eaten a sweet potato in their life, don't even know what it is, put them together. Put the fitness freaks together. Put the people in the middle that haven't even been doing it consistently for six months yet. Put them all together. What happens? They have camaraderie. They have that that push, that motivation. They have someone else that's going through the same thing as them that they can relate to. They even have someone else to reach out to in case you, for whatever reason, are too busy. Um, one that's a one one good way to kind of match it towards group small group training. The other thing, the the most important thing that you can do is get to know the person before you start talking about anything that has to do about Advocare. Ask them a ton of questions. Find out what they want, what they need if they're sleeping at night, whatever it may be, and match the products that they need to their goals. It's not just a 24 day challenge and that's it. And if they don't buy it, then I'll talk to you in a year or six months from now. And maybe you want to buy it then. It's not. Some people can't sleep at night. Some people don't have energy. Some people just want to gain a little bit of weight. Some people just want to do a cleanse because they can't use the bathroom. As, as sad as that sounds, it's true. So you really have, you can't find out what the person needs if you don't talk to them and get to know them and build a re relationship with them. And I kind of want to end that or this video with something from what my certification I'm studying for. Um, and it's about asking questions. And it says, closed-ended questions are directive. They can be answered with one word. Closed-ended questions can be important. For example, what's your name? Open-ended questions are non-directive. Questions allow clients to give more information. Open-ended questions cannot be answered with a number of place, yes or no. They invite the client to express personal fears, barriers, failures, and successes. They're harder to ask than they seem, and people don't typically use them in a conversation. Pay attention to a normal conversation that you're in with people like in your everyday life. Chances are you're using more closed-ended questions than open-ended questions. So biggest form of advice, ask them a ton of questions, get to know them, find out what they need, match the products to them, put them in a group that relates to them, and it's going to explode because they're going to have someone that is going through the same thing as them, and you can start to gradually take them through their journey with what they want, not what you want. Hopefully that helped. Have a good night.